Welcome to a new episode of Sky Factory 3. In this episode, well, I'm going to keep it simple because a lot of my episodes are really, really long. And I know a lot of you don't like watching the long episodes, so I want to keep it simple. Today, I want to make something from Ender I.O. I have to actually make two of them. So we're going to search it. Ender. And what I want to make is this. Dimensional transceiver. What is a di dimensional transceiver? Well, in the simplest of terms, it's a tesseract. It will send and receive power, and it will send and receive items. So if I make two of these, in theory, I will have a tesseract. And I can send the items from my magical crop over there that is producing Yolarium over to my reactor. And that is what I plan on doing today. So we're going to look into making that. To make that, we have to head over to my crafting area or refined storage area so I can uh, get to work on doing that. I'm fairly sure this is going to involve a trip to the end. Because I think I looked into it early game as a way of transferring power, and I just couldn't do it because I didn't have access to the end. There was something that I was missing that I needed. But uh, we will find out what that is now as we teach the system how to make this item. All right. So it can make the baseline of that. I think it can make fused quartz. Let me look. No, just quite clear glass, so it can't make... I think I'd have to do that down here to make the fused quartz. Come on now, right here. I thought I thought I taught this how to make it. Alloy smelter. Seriously, fuse course. Um. All right. So fused quartz. Let's go down. Let's uh, look and see, because I could have sworn I had set that up for fused quartz. It's quite clear glass, but that's glass. Now, the question is, is I should grab that, because I need to figure out, what is it made out of? Is it furnished? I am pulling the wrong thing out of that, so it's not from the furnace. Then alloy. Yes, it is alloy. And that that, ladies and gentlemen, is why you have to have one set to furnace and one set to alloys. Because if you just have one and it's set to both, if I were to put the uh, quartz in there to get the fused quartz, I would end up with silicone rather than fused quartz. Alright, so... We can make the fuse quartz. We can make the electrical steel. I don't think we can make that. Um. Okay. And then the first tier. All right. Then we need to make this. That's down here on this. All right, so it is. This cannot be ordicked, which means I have to replace that silicone with 
with Ender IO silicone. Now I know I've got this silicone right here that I am acquiring. I actually do not know what I am doing that gets me that silicone. This silicone I get, I believe I get it from uh Oh wait, this is the silicone that I get from. Then how do I get the other silicone? I don't know. I seriously do not know. So this is the right one. I need to get rid of that and that. Grab that. All right. So this goes over here and these go up here. Uh, I have the uh, basic capacitor, so I do not need that one. What, what what was it? It's like changed my screen to blue. Weird. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. So delete that pattern. I have to figure out which one is this one using? I have a feeling that this one right here is set to the Ender IO silicone and I don't exactly know. I know I've got some of it in the system and it's entering into the system. I just don't know how I'm getting it. It must be like a mob drop or something. All right. So the only thing now that I need to be able to make it, I'm in the wrong one, is this thing in the middle. And that requires a soul binder. And I do not yet have a soul binder. So I'm going to make a soul binder. A soul binder right here. That's not terribly difficult. So if I go in here, right here, and I bring up the soul, where did the soul binder go? Soul binder. And I need a crafter for it. Give me a crafter. Well, I'll be back for the crafter. I have to teach it how to make this. As you've noticed, I put in all my glass for, uh, there's, there's been some changes. I should probably talk about them real quick. Put soul binder in there. As you can see, I now have my drive bay here. I do not think that in my entire time here at, in uh, Sky Factory 3, I'm going to use this many drives. And if I do, I've got these. I'm, I plan on putting like my precious items in there. Like, they'll be filtered only, like, Draconium and Nether Stars only will be in there. And I can see my storage on them. Now, let's see here. I should be able to make the Soul Binder now. What am I missing? I am missing an Enderman's head, so I do have to go to the end. Do I have the soul binder? Well, that's that's what I need to make the soul binder as well, right? Do I have the crafter? Yeah, that's what I needed. So I'm going to take this down, and I am going to set it up, but I have to make a trip to the end. This has to skip 
one, I believe. I might have to skip two if I need to go into the side for any reason. No, this one shouldn't need to, so just skip one. Like that. There we go. That should be where I need to put that. I might have to move it later. Time for me to gear up for a trip to the end. And in this trip to the end, I am going, I've got flight with my current armor set. Let's look at swords. Uh, scroll down to the ones because I need... Maybe it's in my bag. I mean, I have this sword on me, but this this one I don't think has... Yeah, this one doesn't have decapitation on it. Nor does it have the... Uh, what I need, though, is a soul vial. I've got the three of them here. I need to grab me some Enderman souls while, while I'm there. And... Let's see here. Let's look in my bag of holding. There it is. Beheading five. And it's got another modifier on it. I wonder if I can bring that up to beheading um, six. I don't know what the max beheading is. Let's head on over to my forge. Trying to remember the modifier needed for beheading. I think my book is over here. No, it's not. It's materials in you. All right, materials in you. Modifiers. Beheading. It's reinforced. Ender pearl and obsidian. So we'll put that back in there. Grab me an ender pearl and a piece of obsidian. Yes, enough for beheading six. And that should give me 60% beheading, right? Each level has 10% chance. Yeah, 60%. So there we go. Time to go to the end. Acquire both. I think I'm going to grab all three of these as Enderman Souls because I need at least two to uh, do that thing that I do. Because you need to make two of them. One to receive and one to send. Hello. Uh, that did not take long at all to get my first one. I'll take googly eyes there, and I'll take you. Okay. Now, I'm going to just kill them. Is my mag- yeah, my magnet's on. Stop hitting me! Alright, I've got an Enderman head. Do they stack? I'm, I'm curious. 60% here, and I've got one. One Enderman head.
Still only one head. Goodbye. Alright, two. And yes, they do stack. That's what I wanted to test here. I think I'm going to kill one with my uh, Iron Broad, because I want to see how long it takes me to do that. Too long. I really need to upgrade this sword, but to upgrade it, I need modifiers. These are weird eyes. It's like they got energy in them. Oh man, you are creepy. Oh look at that. I've got a Enderman head. Without using the cleaver. I really don't like the cleaver. It's got way too long of a drawback. Can I do a wield? Yes. But I can't swing it in that hand. That just sucks. It just kind of sits there. I'm actually getting more heads with the broadsword than I was with the uh, cleaver. That's actually kind of sad. One more left up here. He's gone. What is this down here? Is that the platform I spawn in on? Yes. That is the platform that I spawn in on. Alright, so I'm going to land here and take off. Goodbye. Alright, I've got everything I need. This dude followed me. You got problems, sir. All right. Teach him to follow me. All right. Problem with me playing Skybounds is now I'm afraid to right click with my sword because it's like that's how you activate your abilities and whatnot. <laughs> All right, go in here, do the thing that I need to do to make the thing that I need to make, I need to eat. Put these heads in here, ender pearls in there, the soul files in there. The essence, the common loot bag, another ender pearl. 
because they don't stack. Dimlet parcel. I don't need those yet. All right, now time to make the soul binder. No, I didn't. What what am I doing? Soul binder. Start. What am I missing? To craft, to craft, to craft. Missing a creep. I'm missing a creeper head. That's 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 a thing. You'd think that I'd get heads from this, but no, I've never upgraded the uh, spikes to give me heads. But I do have six creeper heads. I'll have to replace these later because they're my decorations. But for right now, they're going in the system. And I think... I need to replace those spikes with something with decapitation on them. Although, I also need to increase the speed at which it works, because I don't, I'm not around it enough to increase the spawns. It just, it needs to be upgraded, period. Whether or not I upgrade my mob spawning to an automatic system using powered spawners, it's not like... I have a shortage of power, what with me pulling in one million from my uh, big reactor. I just, it's just something I have to look into doing. All right. So, soul binder, start. And are you done? No. What, what are you doing? Oh, I'm processing solarium. Well, that's not going to happen until I remove that. Ah. <sighs> there we go. Soul binder. And we will plop this down here. Go in here. Set this up. And... It needs power, so I need to run it power. What am I doing? I have this thing. That's the best I can do right here. So, conduit power. And then I need an import bus. Make me one of those. Come on. I upgraded you to be super fast, so... Be super fast. Now I need the cabling. Don't know how much I need, so I'll grab all that I have. Let me request a stack. All right, now... I think I just need to slap the import bus here, which means I don't really need any cabling. So... That goes there. That goes there. And then power. I'm going to need more than just this one. Why, why did I only pull one from the system? <sighs> I'm going to request a stack of that as well because I'm running low. Where'd it go? I don't know how to make it. Oh, that's just... That's not good. We'll, we'll teach it how to make that real quick. All right. Now that should be set up. Put 
put that in there, put that in there. Teach it how to make conduits. Yeah, you need to know how to make this. It's very sad that you don't know, know how to make probably one of the things that I use the most of. What is this, you ask? Well, this elevator brings me up into here so that I can do work in here. Yeah, that's what that is. It's kind of tucked away so nobody sees it. All right, now in here, time to go back to this, this, this. Does it know how to make a vibrant crystal? I don't know. It does not know how to make a vibrant crystal, so we will teach it how to make a vibrant crystal. And those are vibrant alloy nuggets. I have a lot of them, so I have no way of knowing whether or not it knows how to make it, unless I go over to this grid, which is set up just to show only craftables, nuggets, pulsing iron. It does not know how to make the vibrant, so we will teach it real quick how to make the vibrant from here, 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 here. All right, so... That doesn't shift at all. I wonder if it's going to work. So we're going to go over here. Put that in. Maybe it's because it has two outputs instead of just one. Looks like I'm on my second page. Now. I should be able to just request that now. And it does its thing. Ender crystal. Yep. However, what I actually need to request is the what 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 is it called? Dimensional transceiver. And I need two of them. Please don't break. Let's go watch this thing. Should be making what it needs in here. I have to feed it experience. Oh, that's going to be annoying if I have to come in here every time it feed it experience. I have to bring an, uh, like, my experience in here and feed it experience from that. All right. But other than that, it's it's working. It's doing what I need it to do. I just have to feed it experience. I'm going to have to look into that and see if there's a way that I can figure out how to do that. However, that should be the two-dimensional transceivers. Yep. Now let's get some item conduits. Mm. Doesn't show my conduits. All right. I need to teach it how to make them. Item conduits. Eventually, the system will know how to make everything. All right, second page. All right. Time to set these up.
and I've never actually seen. I've not, I've not fooled around with it. I've read about it a little bit. So we will see if it does exactly what I believe it does. Now, just give me a free hand. It should send. I need it to send one of these. Send filter whitelist. Only send that. Yeah, I think that's what I need to do. I don't want it to send power, just items. All right, now I actually need to set this up to extract always on. This needs to be set to insert. Yeah. It's not going to be very fast because it's limited by my conduit, and I need to put a stack and speed upgrades, I guess, on that to increase that speed. But if I come over here, I might actually have to turn the reactor off and let it cool down before I am actually able to do anything over here. Because when I enter into this chunk, or the range of these chunks, because it's actually several of them, the lag hits hard. And I need to set up, like, maybe Computercraft or RedNet and run it wirelessly to the main house so I can turn the power on and off at a distance without getting close to this thing. But I haven't been hit by the lag. Oh, that's because we've got a problem. <laughs> I'm only... Pro I am still producing a million, but I am seriously running out of Eulerium here. So if I do something like just attaching this to here... How do I link these two together? I don't know how to link them. Because it should receive, sent to receive. And then this should be set to extract, but it's not, it's not receiving anything because why? Oh, okay. So this is actually, yeah, I have to set up a network. So Eulerium. Just call it fuel. Private channel, add channel. S receive fuel, and the other one needs to send fuel.
I don't know if this was instituted because whether or not Ender Eye was like, what, no Tesseracts? So they were like, let's make our own. I don't know how that worked, <laughs> why they did it, how that became a thing. But it is. It's a thing now. All right. So I should be able to go into here and send fuel. That that should work, right? Do they need power? Do I need to hook them up to a flux point? If I do, then it'll probably be the flux point at my house because that's not overtaxed yet. I mean, it produces a uh, 1,000 RF, and I think it it only pulls power as it needs. It's got some automation going on, but it, it's like in the hundreds. It's not it's not hit its cap yet. It's always still full. Yes, it does need power. This does not work from over here. Too far away. This upkeep is 10 RF a tick. If it only requires 10 RF a tick, then that's fairly cheap. I think I'll make flux plugs and attach it to them, except for the one over by the reactor. No, because if it runs out of Eulerium and I reboot the system by sending more Eulerium, and that thing's running off of the reactor's RF, and the reactor's down because there's no Eulerium, it won't receive anything. I have to use a flux plug and connect it to this network over here. And I think this network is set up with a... Flux plug receiver. We will find out. I think this system is set up to make the plugs. It is not. Time to go teach to refine storage system how to make plugs. See, something simple as just automating Eulerium is taking me almost an hour to do. Why do all my episodes turn out like this? <sighs> Alright, let's put that in there, that in there, that in there. Flux plug. Need to know how to make that. And need to know how to make that. Need to know how to make flux block. Need to know how to make the whoops. Need to know how to make the flux. Smelting. Remember that, that needs to go in a regular furnace one. All right, and flux point. I think I need to teach it how to make a block of redstone because I'm fairly sure it doesn't know that. All right, now let's put these where they need to go. This is furnace only. You get that. The rest, I think, go up in here. I don't think you know how to make any of those. I don't see them. All right.
All right, now I need the receives energy one and I need two of them. There we go. And I'm fairly sure, if not, then I can make the one that, yeah. Select a network, energy one. Yep. Energy one is my first reactor, which is why it's called energy one. And I originally created it and set it up to power the draconic uh, fusing thing. Maybe next episode we'll get into that, but there's so many other little things that I needed to do. And I just hate making progress off camera. I mean, I, I'll do small things like decoration, refining some of the uh, auto crafting that I've done on camera, but actually progressing further, I like to do that on camera. All right, this thing has got some lag, and I, I made a mistake. Mistakes were made. I landed. Is this thing actually pulling stuff out? <sighs> yeah, it is. That's why there's so much lag. It's pulling things out already, and I haven't even powered it. Ugh. Ugh. My goodness. I guess it, it, it only, uh, it only takes energy to send, not to receive. Well, it could send power now, because it has power that it's receiving. But, yeah, it's it's not f meant for that. It's just meant for getting the Yellarium for the magic crop over here into the max reactor. Now, I have quite a bit of Yellarium. Oh, flying is going to be difficult now. There we go. The chickens can't keep up with this beast. Obviously, my supply has already dwindled down to where there's nothing in there. So these chickens right here, not enough to keep up with this reactor. I don't even think that the crop will produce enough. Maybe combined with the chickens, it will be enough. Get me out of this chunk. But if not, I don't know what I'm going to do. I might have to make another cro a crop, speed up the one that I'm currently doing, put more growth accelerators on it. I don't, I really don't know how to go about producing the Yellarium that it needs to. I don't even know if it's possible. It's been about a week for it to completely deplete my Eulerium storage, and I only headed off for three days to get my Eulerium up to enough to where it'll run for a week. Which makes you think, well, then shouldn't it be able to keep up with it? Apparently, it creates cyanite at a, at a faster degree than I can create Eulerium. This thing is moving fairly fast, but
I don't know. I also need to automate sugarcane production. That's something I'm going to do off camera. Nobody needs to see me automate sugarcane. This is something that I also want to show you. So this is for the achievement of filling up a uh, quantum storage unit. Um, below here. Below the quantum storage unit. I made that for two reasons. First, because there's achievement for filling up the uh, quantum storage unit. Tier 5 cobblestone generator. The two reasons to complete the achievement. And because I got tired of having to manually put cobblestone in the system. Every time I had a crafting recipe that required it. Well, now it's attached to the system. Let's see what achievements we have completed today. And since I last checked the book, no cow in a jar, no iron seed. I do have a diamond seed now. You've seen it over there. I'm making a diamond hose with it. No superior apple. There are now three new islands. My big reactor, the, uh, Draconic Evolution one and uh, my refined storage one have not traveled to the bottom, uh, have not done that, have not traveled to the beneath, I have not gotten an elytra, I have not hatched a dragon egg, have not done that, have not done that. Oh my lord, I could have created two ender chests and sent them over that way. Oh well. I I feel stupid now. I have created a refined storage system to store your things. You saw the drives. I've not automated that process. I have not created an actively cre uh, cooled reactor. I have created a maximum size reactor. I'm producing a thousand RF a tick. I'm producing 10,000 RF a tick. I'm producing a hundred thousand RF a tick and I am producing a million RF a tick. Build a solar array, harness the power of lightning. Build a solar array tier 4. Collect ore from the void miner. I have not done that. I have crafted a builder's wand, but it's not the highest tier. I have not done either of those. I have not done that. I have not automated life point collection. I do believe I have a tier five. No, I need uh, to uh, to get a tier five. I need two more beacons. Or three more beacons. I've not done anything in Batania. I've not done the ritual of Gaia one or two. I've not done any of the draconic stuff yet. Not built a dimension. Age of Insanity. Yeah, these are all the things, the, the final things, like produce a billion RF a tick. It's just, it's insane. Use diamond blocks to cool a max size reactor. I have done one of the very final achievements. And that's all the achievement have ticked off quite a few of them.
Still got a ways to go there, though. I think that's all for today's episode. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. I've got all kinds of googly eyes going on on Sky Factory 3. Bye.